Sounds great. Thank you. Yes, for sure. And like the whole, my whole five-step process, and it's what I wrote about in my book back in 2018, just a, a simple ebook going over these five basic steps. So where I always start agents is step one and two. And step one is, is taking care of all these links and making sure everything is looking good and making sure you have that name on all platforms, right? Step I one. That. I yes. did that. I right. added my LinkedIn. And I love stuff. it. I love it. I love it. And then, and then step two was simply taking this like count up and running that to everyone on Facebook who fits the interests of home ownership just to get a few thousand likes, just to bring that credibility and bring that social proof, right? So when people land here, there's a bigger number than just 110, right? right. So, so that's what I call step two. Now, step three is this intro video, but step three is more of a, of a weekly type of campaign. So that's when you want to start going into Facebook ads more on a consistent weekly basis. The like ad, that's a one-time ad, but, but step three and on, which is kind of where we're at and which is where those emails were kind of leading you to as well was, was showing you what step three is, what step four is and what step five is. Right. So for example, step three, it all starts here with this intro, but it's, a, it's, it's, I want you to kind of look at it as a weekly campaign and, and what I'm going to also teach you is, is a simple strategy to start capturing even more leads. And that's a simple buyer or seller guide. Most agents are not giving away anything up front in, order, in, in, in exchange for someone's information. They'll either run an ad on a listing, and that's cool. I mean, obviously, if someone sees your ad and it's a home and they're on the market and they're looking for a house, of course, someone's going to click on it and, and, and want to maybe take a look at it. But what if you don't have a listing? Like, what if you don't have an open house? How do we stay consistent and how do we, how do we continue to capture buyer or seller leads throughout the month, right? Throughout the month, how do we keep our, our, our pipeline full with people on social media? And so it all starts with step three. Step three is when you start to run Facebook ads, but targeting your local area. So the like ad, that's going to everyone. Now we narrow in. Now we narrow in and we target only your area where you're farming. And, and so it starts, it starts with the intro. It starts with this video right here, but then it also goes weekly. So not everyone's ready for this step because again, it, it takes a weekly budget, it well, more of a monthly budget, but I want you to kind of look at it weekly where you're running a, a new video ad every single week. So let me kind of just give you an example. Let me kind of paint the picture of what step three is. Step three, four weeks, okay, four weeks. One, one two, three, four, there's four weeks in a given month. This right here, this intro video is what I would call, is what I would call week one. So week one, you, you run this video targeting your local area and get thousands of people to view it. See, right now, when we just post organically, whether you have 2,800 friends or whether you have, or 2,800 likes or you have, or whether you have um, 200 likes, it doesn't matter. Like when you just post organically, you're only going to get so many views on this video. Like it's supposed to show the video, the views over here, but I don't know why it's not showing the view count, but, um, but that's okay. But when you post organically, you're only going to get so many people to view it. And chances are those people will be from all over the place. Even if we didn't run the like ad and, and we didn't, we did not target everyone on Facebook. The, the, let's just say the, the 300 likes or the 500 likes or the 600 likes that you had prior to the like ad, those are still people who live all across the country. Yeah. So as we post organically, the people who like this page, the 1% that actually like it are going to live across the country. So now we go into step three where, okay, now how do we get the attention of our local audience? It's this first video right here. So again, it's, it's four weeks. Week one would be you, you running this video and getting thousands of people to view it in that local area that you're farming. Week two would be to roll out another video and retarget everyone who watched this one. Week three would be a, another video. You're running it to your local area and you're also retargeting everyone who watched this one and everyone who watched week two. And you just keep it going. So week four, now we have a new video going out. Week number four, let's call it every Friday. Week four on Friday, Gene G Genevieve launches a new video. That video goes out to the local area and you're also retargeting everyone who watched week one, week two, week three. So what that does, it, it generates a buzz. It, get, it, it gives Genevieve that, that omnipresence type of branding where people in your local area who are actually engaging, who are actually watching your stuff, continue to see your stuff. 
And that's what Facebook ads allow you to do. When you run a Facebook ad, this is a two minute and 45 minute video. So what Facebook ads allow you to do, when you run it as an actual ad, Facebook will allow you to start creating what they call quote unquote custom audiences. A custom audience is anyone who either lands on a website or watches your video. Now there's many more custom audiences, but those are the two most basic ones. So if I go to your website, there, you should have a Facebook tracking code, which is called a pixel. If I click on this and I go to a website, there should be a Facebook tracking code tracking my visit. That's a custom audience. And the name of that custom audience could be something as simple as website visitors. When it comes to a video, this is a two minute and 45 minute video. Facebook is going to allow us to create an audience of everyone who watched 30 seconds of it or of, or, and I should say, or, and create an audience of everyone who watched 44 seconds of it and, or create a custom audience of everyone who watched two minutes of it. So what I end up, what I tend to do is I'll create, if it's a two minute and 45 minute video, I'll create a custom audience of everyone who watched 60 seconds. Because for me to sit here and watch 60 seconds of something, again, I would be seeing it in my newsfeed. We're not friends. I don't like your Facebook business page. I'm seeing it as an actual ad in my newsfeed. So whether I'm on a computer or whether I'm on a cell phone and I'm just scrolling through, seeing what my friends are up to, and then all of a sudden I come across a sponsored ad. This is a Facebook ad. So in this case, it's an image. So if I click on that image and I come over to his website, this is the Facebook tracking code right here. Now I'm, I'm going to give you an example with both with the website. And if I just watched your video, because that's what you have here, it's just a simple video. But if this was an image, just like this ad is, there's the text, there's the image, there's the learn more button. I click on the image or I click on the learn more. It takes me over to the web page. Here is his Facebook tracking code. So what he did, this guy, Dan Henry with Digital Millionaire Secrets, on this website, he put his Facebook pixel. So this gives Facebook the ability to track everyone who lands here. Now, they're not tracking me by name and number. They're not tracking me by name and first name and last name. And that's not your lead because it's not a lead yet. It's just simple data. Facebook's just saying, hey, G, people landed here and, and, and we know it because of your Facebook pixel tracking code. Now, what we're gonna allow you to do is create a custom audience and name that audience website visitors because these are folks that came here but didn't fill out the form. You see that? I came to the website, but I left. That's right. still an interested person. For me to, that's why for me to sit here and watch 60 seconds, even though I may not have commented, even though I may not have clicked on, your, on learn more, because the ad's gonna say learn more. The post right here, it will say learn more. And then that's when you'll wanna take me to what I call step four, which is a landing page. So when I see this guy's ad, whether it's an image or whether it's your video, when I click on it, you need to take me over to, over to a page. That's step four. But that's not gonna happen until week number two. So again, I'm recording all this so you can play it back and, and really understand it. Um, Cause I might be talking too fast here, but try to stay with me. Try yeah, to stay with me. You. Here, 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 here's the deal. I see the ad, whether it's an image or a video, I click, I come over here. This is a landing page. This is what I call step four. So in my five step process, this is step four. Step three is your weekly ad. Step four is the landing page in which, in, in where you're going to capture the lead. But again, for those who land here and they don't enter the information, they just leave for whatever reason, that's still a custom audience. For me to sit here and watch 60 seconds of your video, but I didn't comment, I didn't send you a direct message, I didn't um, click over to your website, I just sat here and watched it for 60 seconds. For me to sit here for 60 seconds, you caught somewhat of my attention. That's a legitimate custom audience. That's a legitimate viewer. So what I wanna do, if I'm a smart marketer, what I wanna do is I wanna show you my next video. And, and, and have that video get in front of you. And, and maybe you might, if, if you didn't click on this one or if you didn't comment, but you watched at least 60 seconds of it, maybe I can get you on in front of my second video and my third video and my fourth video until you eventually click and give up your name and number. So, so week, step three, 
week number one is when you run this to get thousands of people to simply view it. Not to comment, not to click and go to your website, not to send you a direct message, it's to simply view it because that's data. If I can run this and get 7,000 people to view it, and out of the 7,000 people, let's just say 3,500 of them watched it for 60 seconds, and those are 3,500 people that all live within these three zip codes, that's powerful. And if I can turn around and run a second ad and show it to them again, and a third ad and show it to, to them again, and we're not showing ads to people that are getting you know, bothered by us. We're showing ads to people that are watching our previous ads. Yeah. Does that, does that okay. kind of make sense? Yeah. So, yeah. so that, that, in, in that case, when I'm over here on, on Facebook and I scroll through and I keep seeing, there goes Genevieve, and then, and then maybe a couple of days later, there goes Genevieve again. I don't know her. I'm not Facebook friends with her. I don't like her business page, but she keeps showing up in my newsfeed. Let me see what she's really talking about. Let me go to her over to her website. So, so week number one is this intro. Week number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, as high as you want to go. From week two and on, here's the strategy. And this is all, this is all part of step three, four, and five. I'll just wrap it up here because this is it, it's all it's all in one. Video number two and on, you're gonna now start talking about one specific topic. And so Although you know everything about real estate, you can run laps around people when it comes to the knowledge that you have when it comes to buying and selling residential property. Maybe you know a ton about commercial as well. You know so much about this stuff, gee, it's not even funny. But that type of knowledge is not needed over here. What I suggest you do, especially with Facebook advertising, so as we run a new video every week, we don't want to be educating people on everything under the sun when it comes to residential real estate. What we want to do is we want to educate people on one specific topic. So from week number two and on, you should be talking about the topic of buying or the topic of selling. It's either one. It's not both. It's either one. Because what Facebook is going to start doing is they're going to start finding that ideal audience. Genevieve keeps talking about the process of selling real estate. Okay, let's find her more people that have that interest. Week number three, she's talking about the topic of selling real estate. Let's find more people that are interested in selling their real estate. Week number four, she keeps talking about the same topic. So it gives, it gives Facebook the ability to really go to work for you to find one specific person. And it's like, it's, it's, it's finding a needle in a, hay, in a haystack. That's what it is. But Facebook is very, very good at it. So when you can stay on one topic and, and, and allow Facebook to find that audience, you really shine. Because now Facebook's going to keep finding you those types of people who are homeowners and interested in selling or who are first time home buyers and looking to buy either one, either one Find It, it could be any topic, but, it, but in this case with real estate, it's one or one or the other buying or selling. And, and then also not only does it give Facebook the, the ability to, to make it easier for them, even though Facebook's a whole machine and, and they can find your ideal client in a heartbeat but it just makes it consistent. It keeps your content consistent. It keeps Facebook, the algorithm, trying to find that same person consistent. And then also it gives Genevieve the ability to, to, to stay on topic. And now it makes it easier for you to create content. At least it should. If your whole job was to make one video per week on the topic and the process of buying, that's a little easier then having to think about, okay, shit, what do I talk about this week? Do I talk about foreclosures? Do I talk about forbearance? Do I talk about freaking interest rates? Do I talk about, like, it's like, there's so many things you could talk about. But if you narrow it in and talk about the process of buying, there's still so many things in that, but at least it's on that one topic. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah, it does. And um, they should be short, right? Like no more than like 60 seconds moving on, like moving forward or does no, it matter? Is no, to tell you the truth, it could be, it could be as long as you want to tell you the truth. But right here, uh -huh. this is kind of the sweet spot, the sweet spot, 245, 245 to 345. That's the sweet spot. Because again, it doesn't, it kind of doesn't even matter, but you want it over 60 seconds for sure. Um, for sure. You want it over 60 seconds. Um, I would say, yeah, I would say minimum 60 seconds, but at the same time, if I'm tracking people who are watching a percentage of it, 
Yeah. It kind of doesn't matter because if it was a 60 second video, I'm going to create a custom audience of everyone who watched 30 seconds. If it's a five minute video, I'm going to create a custom audience of everyone who watched two minutes of it. So it kind of doesn't matter, but these videos will be a little longer because what, because what you're going to start doing just like, like, right. I'm telling you the way you look in this video, you just look like a freaking professional. You look like an educator. You look like someone that has so much knowledge. It's not even funny. So from this point on week number two and on again, the strategy is to pick a topic buying or selling. And what you're going to start doing is start educating us on that process, what okay. it takes to buy in 2021, what it takes to sell in 2021. That's the goal. That's the strategy. And here's the icing on the cake. Here's what you do next. Here's the icing on the cake. And this is what I call step four. So step three is to, is to find that topic. What are we going to talk about? Who are we trying to attract listings or are we trying to attract, attract buyers, right? Find that one topic that you really want to want to get comfortable with and go all in with. That's going to be step three, a weekly Facebook ad. Now, when they start to see that ad, let me show you. Um, let me show you this one. Okay. So when they start to see your ad and your ad is in the newsfeed, and now this is week number three or week number two, week number three, week number four. Here's another sponsored ad. What G is talking about. Let's just actually let me just ask you: Is it buying or selling? Who's your ideal client? Sellers. Okay, perfect. So we're looking for listings. Let's keep it th this simple. As I keep seeing week number two, week number three, there are two minute clips on Genevieve educating me on the topic of selling, what it takes to sell. That's step three. That's the weekly video. That's what you're educating me on. That's the topic of the video. And, and every week, it's a different, a different variation of what it takes to sell. Simple. You know this stuff like the back of your hand. At the end of that video, at the end of every video from week number two and on, because week number one is just a simple hello, here's who I am, here's my background, here's why I'm so fired up. This is a phenomenal first intro video. This is exactly where you want to be. But week number two, week number two, we're going to put a little twist to the call to action. So week number two, from every video and on, the call to action at the end of that video is to click learn more is to click learn more. So when you see an ad sponsored, there's the text, there's the image or video, there's the learn more button. So at the end of your videos, week number two and on, your whole call to action is to say, hey guys, and by the way, click learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free seller guide. In this seller guide, I give you guys my 10 simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. I put a lot of sweat equity into this book. It's a, it's a, it's a nine page PDF that you guys are going to absolutely love. Click learn more and you can download your free copy now. See you guys there. So now not only am I seeing a weekly video from this chick named Genevieve that keeps educating me on the process of selling my house, but at the end of it all, she's also giving me something of value for free. And it's a PDF. So people love free, people love value. So if you can get your hands, which I have a ton of, P I have a ton of seller guides I can show you as examples. I have a, so many clients that send me their seller guides. Yes. I can send you a few, you know, to, to, to kind of give you some examples. And then if anything, if we do go forward with that, I can have it rebranded to you, your yeah. headshot, your contact information to make it really look nice for you. Perfect. But we're, t we're talking simplicity a simple seller guide, a, 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 a five pager, a 10 pager. I have some seller guides that are like 25 pages. You know, oh, wow. I think I have a client with Kel Keller Williams and I think her seller guides like 17 pages, you know, pretty detailed. But, but the point is, is that that's what we're giving away. That's our bait. So as we start to bring people over here and again, some people are going to land here and leave. That's a custom audience. That's why right here at the top, you can see I have my Facebook pixel because some are going to land here and 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 fill out the form and 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 request a copy of my pdf and some simply aren't and for whatever reason there's legitimate reasons maybe i saw genevieve's ad in the news feed and i was driving i clicked but i was driving maybe i saw her ad i clicked i came over her her page but the but the food is, is burning on the stove and i gotta go maybe my freaking daughter's 
screaming her lungs out and I got to go change a damn diaper. So many things happen. They click, they see the ad, they click, but they don't fill it out for whatever reason. At least I'm tracking it because that's an interested visitor. You would have not clicked. You would have not came here if, if, if there was no interest at all. Like if you were 13 only into Xbox, you would have not clicked on my ad and came here, right? So it's only people that are, that, that are, that, that are engaging that are going to even ever click on the ad and get this far. But, but again, what Facebook allows us to do is track them because, because some are not going to fill it out. But, but that's an interested person that I want to show my, my next ad to. And, that, and that's why when I go run ad number three, I retarget all my website visitors, people who came here but did not fill out the form. Now, here's what happens next. People that come here and do fill out the form. So they come here, they see, they see G's video, they, they like it, they click learn more, they come over here and they enter their name and email and they click the yellow button, send me your 10 tips. Those leads that end up clicking that button end up coming to the next page where I also have my Facebook pixel tracking them. This right here is how you track your leads. Anyone who lands on this page, this is what we tell Facebook. We tell this to Facebook. Anyone who lands on this link, label them as a lead. That's how you can start tracking your metrics inside of Facebook and start knowing or, or start, yeah, start, start seeing the numbers and start knowing, okay, are we seeing an ROI on this? How many leads came in today? You know, what was the cost per lead? We spent this much and, and 17 leads came in. What's the cost per lead, right? So now you can start tracking metrics because now we know who landed on this page. The only people that will ever land on this page are people that filled out the form. So, so as they end up opting in is what we call it. They fill out the form, they click the button, they come to this thank you page. This is what I call step four. So step four is, is the landing page. They, they click, they land on the landing page, they enter their name and email, then they come here, here's the thank you page. This right here is a simple 60 second video on you. Hey guys, this is Genevieve. Thank you so much for downloading my 2021 seller guide. You guys are gonna absolutely love the information that I put into this. I go over the top 10 tips on how to increase the value of your home before selling. But before I really go into that, let me simply introduce myself and let me, let me tell you why I'm so fired up and so passionate about what I do. And that would be a simple intro, a simple intro. And then, and then you would also tell them, hey guys, and by the way, check your email because I just sent you over an email with a link to download your PDF. I hope you guys enjoy reading it as much as I enjoy writing it for you. Talk to you soon and make sure you check for my emails that I have coming up because I'm going to keep educating you on what it takes to sell in 2021. Don't miss an email. And by the way, before I go, if you'd like to jump on a call now, I know some people are looking to sell sooner than later. If that's you and you'd like to just pick my brain and really see what type of strategies I give my clients and how I can consult and help you sell your property or just simply put you in the best position to sell whenever, whenever, whenever the time is right, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. And I can say all that in a 60 second video. So, what, so, so the landing page is step four. That email is now in my pipeline. That's what I call step five. So step five is that email automation. I just captured a lead. Some leads are going to schedule a call right away. Some aren't. For the ones who are not going to schedule right away, the moment they land on this thank you page, for those who do not schedule a call right away, those get nurtured in my email autoresponder. That's step five. So for example, Right away, I just told them in that video, I just said, hey guys, check your email. I just sent over your PDF. You guys are gonna absolutely love this, um, blah, blah, blah. I'm telling them that I'm sending them email right now. That's the PDF. But tomorrow, another email is gonna go out. That's step five, email automation. So as Genevieve is out showing, showing listings, as you're out at open houses and as you're out closing deals, you have tons of people that are gonna start receiving automated emails. And these automated emails, this is step five, these automated emails go out every other day. Hey, Dave, this is Genevieve. I know yesterday you downloaded my 2021 seller guide. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about the importance of renovating your kitchen and how much value that can bring to your overall listing price? Here's what I meant by it. And, and I'll give them my little two, two cents on, on, on what was in the seller guide, for example. Page nine, page three. 
I'll break that down just a little bit in a simple email as if I'm emailing my friend. And then in the email, there's a call to action. Hey Dave, and by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call where I give you all of my secret strategies, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. Two days later, another email goes out. Three days later, another email goes out, automated. And the whole purpose of these emails, two objectives, two objectives. This is step five, and then this, this, that's all I got for you. The two objectives in these emails that go out, step five, is to educate. Objective number one is to continue to nurture that lead and educate them on the process of selling. But in reality, just continue to break down that seller guide. Some are going to read the seller guide right away. Some are not. If it's a nine-page seller guide, those are nine emails that I could put together where I just simply touch on maybe each page. Hey, Dave, this is Genevieve. Hey, did you take a look at page four? Do you remember when I was talking about the, 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 how, how, how much landscaping and curb appeal means to the, to the overall listing price of your property? Here's what I meant by it. Like little things like that I can break down in a simple email. But the whole objective, again, number one is to educate and continue to bring content and, and, and nurture that lead. That's objective number one. That's via email automation. Objective number two is to get them to schedule a call. This is not a link that I'm putting in my email signature. This is not a link that I'm putting in, in my PS. PS, hey Dave, if you want to jump on a call, click this link. No, this is a real call to action that I'm putting in the damn email. Hey Dave, and by the way, man, tons of people are going to be selling in 2021. If you'd like to jump on a call where I give you everything I know, click the link now, schedule your best time. My calendar fills up super fast. Get your best time, schedule that thing now. So, so I'm, I'm not being aggressive at all, but I, but, I, but I am being pretty passive where I'm like, man, let's jump on a call. I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to give you all of my secret strategies, right? So, so the whole objective number two in these emails is to get them to schedule a call. So, so at the end of all this, Genevieve, all, all we're trying to do is fill your calendar and get appointments booked every day without you lifting a finger. All Genevieve did was put out a weekly video and the entire machine on the back end took care of everything else. And, and in closing, that machine was the landing page and your email automation. And the fact that you're on the upfront in on, on, on the, um, on the front end, on the front end, it's your video. It's your video. And the fact that you're giving, you're giving education and you're also giving away a free seller guide, something tangible, something that, some, something that, that some, someone can put in their hands. That's your seller guide. So this is your bait. Your bait is that seller guide. So that was a ton of information. And I don't expect you to do all of it right now at all, but I wanted to break down the, the next few steps. Step three, that weekly ad. Step four, this landing page. And step five, email automation. That's how you take over social media in 2021. You have to narrow it in and start targeting that local area with video ads. And you got to give away something of value for free in exchange for someone's information. Okay. Okay. So, so it just, it's kind of, and that's why I always tell my clients, I say, I, I don't know where anyone's at with budget, but if we need to go close another escrow before you really start learning this entire Facebook ad site, then do that first. No, I think I'd like to get started now uh, because I can see this um, just being good to start now, like yeah. before, before the new year starts, I think would be good. Oh, oh yeah, for 